to resume the recording. It's official. You guys are being recorded. We live in Texas. It's a single party recording state, which means I don't need your consent. Well, ha, 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 ha. Um, it's okay, Tiny Human. I had to admit them because it's time to go. We're going to start off with that wooden pole. We're going to start off with that broom. We're going to start off with whatever it is. We're going to have it right on our back. I'll let Vanna get in position real quick. You just don't like bringing a broom. So again, keep in mind, my tripod is missing, so the camera may be doing more of this than it normally does. I apologize for that. So you're going to fold forward and twist. We're going to fold forward, twist right, only right, and twist right, and then back to center, and then back to the right. So you're just going to the right side, 45 seconds, getting that right hip loose. In three, two, one, go. Boom. Yeah, uh, yes, you're going to bend that left knee as you twist to the right. So a big part of that pull is actually to help rotation through the spine, help rotation through the core. <laughs> I was like, is my knee supposed to bend? You said it was my other knee supposed to bend. Yeah. Yeah. I just felt like. So again, I apologize if you're looking at my nose. I did check. It was clear. So should I laugh or sneeze and something were to appear? Yeah, I know. I mean, I do accept payment in the form of nose trimmers, toilet paper, and uh, what's the other thing? Oh, wipies. Wipies, just in case. I know it was the joke. My joke, but you guys didn't get it. I got him. Five, four, three, two. Back to center, left side. In three, two, one, go. Want to get those legs nice and loose? Want to get your upper back nice and loose? Want to get your lower back nice and loose? Try not to rock so much. Yes. Boom. Yes. Yeah, so as you twist, just stay down and twist. So you're not coming back up. You're in that down position. Twisting, twisting, twisting. Yeah. I didn't say it was you. Laura's customarily like five to ten minutes late. Which is funny because all of us start our lives like immediately on time because we have appointments that we're used to being at. Laura's never on time. Like I, I never understood it. Her class will start exactly on the dot. But if she's coming to a class, eh, 7, 10, 8, 15, 5, 4, 3. Two, keep that bar on your back. We're going for squats. So remember, if you guys watch that squat video, the knees are coming out. And actually, the cool part about me not having a tripod is I can do this on Vanna. So knees go out, knees drift, and squat. So you make space as you down again. Three, two, one, go. Up and down. Ah! No! Oh. There was a coffee spill on our side. I literally, I ruined my whole morning. No tripod, no coffee. It's fine. This is how you get ants. I am the reason we have ants. Crap. It's true. I just threw a rock because of it. Not necessarily. So that's a great question. So. Yeah, so is lifting the arch the same as putting your weight on the outside of the foot? No, because you can put your weight on the outside of the foot and keep that arch still relatively flat. There will be a little bit of lift in there. So like right now, I'm actually standing on the outside of my foot. In three, two, one. So now we're actually gonna squat. As you stand up, you're gonna rotate. So I want you to squat all the way down and then you're gonna twist. No, stand up and twist. So you're gonna come down, stand, twist. Good. We're going to alternate sides we go. Squat, stand, twist. Three, two, one, go. Well, I like to keep her in suspense. Did I do it right? Well, I can't tell her what's going to happen before we get here because alternate sides, yeah. If I tell her what happens, then she won't show up, and then she'll yell at me. And Yeah. She'll accidentally oversleep, despite the fact that we live in the same house. Like, why? Yeah. Dude, I, st I stopped doing that. I stopped giving people the workouts because people would stop showing up to classes. It was a pain in the butt. I used to be, like, super detailed. We're going to do this, 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 this. And all of a sudden, I'd be like, oh, I just <laughs> – I can't make it. I got I to gotta scratch. Audrey's over there laughing. She knows. She's one of those people. Three, two, one. Bar stays on the back. This is the last thing we're doing with that bar for the low back. And we're just going to fold forward. We're doing our good mornings. Bar's in the back. Fold forward. Right there. Yes. You're not rolling around on the scooter behind her. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. 
Right now we have Valerie, Audrey, Mom's iPad, Belinda, and Ruby. Mom's iPad. Is that yours? No, it's not me. Maybe it is me. I don't know. Maybe it is my mom. Oh, okay. Anything's oh, possible. Yeah. Unfortunately, if you didn't turn your camera on, that's okay. You don't necessarily need to. You guys aren't being recorded at home. But if I'm making a cue, you have to assume that I'm talking to you then. Yeah, those are awesome knee pads. And I'm still apologizing. For, don't don't you hit that cup of coffee. Stop. Don't, don't scream in my thingy. Three, two, one. Drop that wooden pole. Drop that uh, mop. Drop whatever it is. We're going to grab our jump rope. Just regular jump rope. 45 seconds. Nothing fancy. Up and down. Whatever you do. Don't be like Sharon and just throw your stuff everywhere. In three, two, one, go. Yeah, it's it's not good. Just, just jumping of the rope. Yeah. I need. I'm not watching you. I'm just, I'm looking at both of you. Like, I've got four people to look at. I'm looking here. I'm looking here. My right knee hurts. That's new. We're all six feet apart. It's fine. Five, four, three, two. Drop that rope. Grab that wooden pole again. We're going over pass throughs. So what that'll look like. You're going to pick that pole up, pass all the way around, and back. In three, two, one, go. Got Vanna just passing around. That thing is there. Hi. Don't say hi to my people. It's so nice. Hello. Rude little thing. Hello. We bring her just purely for the entertainment. Although on the plus side, I wish you had spilled the coffee because then I have a reason to yell at you later. So depressing when I have no reason to yell at the kid. Yeah, but I didn't. Nah, wish you would. I wish you would. I could send you to your room to be so quiet later on. Three, two, if you've got that vest or book bag, go ahead, put that on right now. We're about to start the fun stuff, just what everyone wanted. So vest is going on, get it zipped up tight. Book bag is going on, get it cinched up tight, whatever you got to do with it. We've got body weight squats coming up. Well, not really body weight squats because you're wearing a vest. Squats coming up in five, four, three, two, squat. Good, just squat down. Remember, you're pressing those knees apart, lifting the arch of your foot. We want that arch lifted. Those hips should be moving a little bit differently now because you stretch everything out, you loosen everything up. That was the goal. So as we add some speed to this, whatever you do, don't step back and step on that pole. Okay. And you guys at home, don't step on your poles either because I can't see where yours are and that's okay. Well, yeah, but you're gonna be doing more stuff. You're not gonna just be staying in that one spot. Yeah, just when you come down, just don't hit Katie or me or Sharon. Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty solid. Then you got pads, you'll be fine. Five, four, three, two. We're moving into the most commonly debated exercise between K and I, what I would call half run, sort of toe tap or whatever. Right here, yeah, right there. And three, two, one, yes, go. Boom. So move quick, move fast. The knees driving in, we're going. Get that heart rate moving. We're gonna get that hip moving. That left quad should be starting to burn a little bit. We're moving that right side, abs are tight. So a big thing here is you're not just focusing on driving the knee in, you're focusing on those abs. You wanna pull everything in as if you're getting ready to do a crunch, hold it tight. Yeah. Yeah, if you're pulling your abs the right way. Well, and that's it. So that's a really good point. You wanna, hey, hey, we're still moving, we're still moving. You wanna keep those ribs in tight so that your body is actually using your abdominals. Most people run with their hip flexors and that's the problem. You get hip flexor strains, you get low back issues. Oh God, is it time yet? Three, two, one. I got the clock, it's on my wrist and I have to hold the phone. So now they're both in the same spot. Other side in three, two, one, 
go. Well, I talk with my hands, and this stops me from doing this in front of the camera as much. Um, Italian. Yeah. So Italian, you should know that. if you're running with your abdominals, you're going to have more power. You're going to have a longer stride. You're going to feel softer when you land. If you're running with your hip flex, it's a really small muscle. It's going to generate a similar amount of force. However, it's going to get really tight over time. It's going to get really sore over time. And that's where you'll start having some back problems over time. 20 seconds to go since someone else is watching their time. It's okay. Katie's got, Katie's got you guys just in case I fall off. She's got her stopwatch going. Three, two, one, jump squats in five, four, three, two, jump squats down and up. Good. Remember, you want to land as softly as possible. Should be whisper quiet. If there's someone next to you, they have no idea what's happening. If there is not someone next to you, yeah, no thunking. We, yeah, unlike our dog. Thunderstorm slept right through it. The beauty of being a deaf dog. It's okay. It's gonna get better. Today is gonna be a fun little conditioning day. Well, it's a special kind of conditioning day. We have bonus people on here, so I had to make it better. What? I'm kidding. It was already what I had planned. Five, four. Three, two, alternating front lunges. In five, four, my van is moving all over the place. Three, two, go. Yes, and then, yes. So right into it, keep moving as best you can. You wanna spring like a little jungle kitty from movement to movement. How do you know there's no jungle kitty? Well, are you saying that these these nice women are not jungle kitties? Are you saying that they are lower than like pumas or cheetahs? Oh. I'm, I'm sure there's, there's a reason why I should be calling people jungle kitties. <laughs> I'm sure this, this recording is going to get me fired from something at some point in my life. He said jungle kitty at one time and, you know, the part three, two, one, back to your jump rope. Your 30, uh, 45 seconds jump rope, as you jump rope, hips are moving side to side. So you're not just jumping straight up and down. You're gonna alternate those feet. So it's gonna be like downhill skiing. In three, well here, Katie will show you, boom, boom. Three, two, one, go, downhill ski. You're enjoying a nice downhill ski. It's a brisk winter morning, out for the first ski of the day. Fresh snow, waiting for you, excited for you. because we know you weren't up drinking late last night by the fire. You were just getting ready to do some skiing, crush some slopes. Yeah, you gotta turn, you gotta turn. Gotta move those hips. If you don't have a jump rope, that's fine. Just jump up and down, move your hips. That's completely fine. If you lack the coordination to jump rope and move your hips, drop the jump rope, just move your hips and hop side to side. Three, no, sorry, five, four, three, two, Back to your alternating front lunges in five, four, three, two, go. Alternating front lunge. I'll show Sharon because Van is tying her shoe currently. This is why those of you at home should be barefoot so we don't have to stop and tie shoes at any point in time. Still tying. Not tying. I know she's tying on purpose. Yeah, her shoes are coming off. The fact that the tiny human understands that you're tying on purpose. Yeah. What? Oh, she just sold you out completely. Yeah. That's not what you said. We all heard it. Like I have a recording of you saying she's tying on purpose. Yeah. 10 seconds to go. Keep lunging. Yeah. No, what you said. Yeah. Three, yeah. two, one. We're going into our run, right side run. In five. You can demo real quick. Four, three, two, and go. Remember, abs are tight. Abs are tight. Smile. Smile. Keep that smile going. Keep that smile going. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Hey, the people at home are offended. Audrey's clapping and laughing. That's, and so is Valerie. Like, there's no, there's no offendedness here, apparently. They're offended. This is why we can't have nice things.
Me. Meanwhile, I feel bad for Belinda. She just she popped up in the corner. I can't see her face, but she's listening to this whole thing. She's married to Mike. I know she's married to Mike. I feel like I said I feel bad for Belinda. Like, I didn't say. It's also five, Italian. four, three, two, and switch sides in five, four, three, two, go. I feel bad for her. I guess you make some choices. So abs are tight. Drive those knees in. Move those arms. So your arms are moving. You want to be driving through the core. You're still twisting. You're still moving as if you were actually outside running. That's why I call it a run, despite the fact that Katie does not. Where the pets go? They're literally the same person. I told Belinda. Yeah, you know. 15 seconds. Else. So far, we haven't touched that weight yet. That should make you a little bit nervous, just as a word of caution. Five, four, three, two, plyo lunge. So our plyo lunge. Miss Vanna, please demonstrate. Boom, and switch. It's as quick as you can make it, as soft as you can make it. In three, two, one, go. Boom. It doesn't have to be huge. It can be small. If you can, yeah. So keep in mind, this is all, yeah, it's all based on your speed, your precision. So you can go small, you can go big. It doesn't matter. You just have to be able to move quickly. So quickly and softly. So again, it should be light. So a lot of people, when they do a lot of plyometric work, they pound. And you don't want to pound your joints ever. Like, think about that. Just visualize taking a hammer and pounding your joint. It's a bad choice. If you're taking the whole weight of your body and slamming it into the ground as loud as you can, that's the same as taking a hammer and just boom, right on there. So when we do like box jumps, when we do body weight jumps, we do plyo jumps, five, four, three, two, bad things are happening over here. Grab your ropes. We're doing our run while we jump rope. Alternate those feet front to back. Van has got you. Come on, just show me real quick and I can turn the camera back to me. It's okay, just show me, pretend. There you go. Move those feet, three, two, one, go. If you can't jump rope, sorry, if you can't jump rope while moving your feet, don't worry about it. Just move the feet, just hop forward and backwards. That's perfectly fine. It's all about getting the hips to move a little bit differently. It's all about getting your body to move a little bit differently. Guess what? What? Good job. Despite the fact mine is all over the floor. 20 seconds down. <clears throat> so, so same thing with your jump rope. It should still be soft. We do not want to pound. We're doing box jumps, like I started to say, box jumps, fly lunge, anything, it should be soft. You don't want to be jamming your joints. You need those joints to last. You've got like 10 seconds. I don't know why you guys stopped. <clears throat> I'm talking to these, these two, not you guys. You guys are fine. You just keep moving. You do you. Three, two, one, grab your weights. We're going to take that weight, upright row. So right side first, you're going to grab your dumbbell, your kettlebell. If it's a bag full of uh, water, bag full of books, doesn't matter. Just grab it in a spot where you can pull it to your chin. Vanna, upright row me, please. Show the nice people at home. From the floor? No, just from the, up, just up. Oh, yeah, just regular upright row. Yeah, just like that. Just like that. In three, two, one, go. Pay no attention to the woman behind the curtain. You can, you'll be fine. Then use your hips a little bit. If you, if you do have a weight that's too heavy, you can use your hips. Give it a little bit of a bump. If you have to do this, you'll basically do this for two rounds in a row. Oh, great. But that's not yet. So we'll come back to that later, but don't you worry, none. We're going to have a good old time. We're going to have fun. If you guys are prone to motion sickness, I apologize. It's the tripod's fault. It is the Blair Witch Project. It's kind of how I live my life. One Blair Witch moment at a time. Because we didn't have a 12. Yeah. That's what you get for giving away a 12, pound, uh, 12 kilogram kettlebell. I was just trying to make sure my client could work out. Five, four, three, two, switch sides. Hey, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Three, two, one, go. Find one because Drag all the way up. Come in. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's cool. I got an extra one. Don't worry about it. Yeah. She's like, yeah. 
Abs stay tight. Drive that elbow up. So your hand should be hanging below your elbow. And from this angle, you can actually see that exact thing. It's a little bit more extreme. Make sure you keep it up there. 10 seconds to go. Abs are tight. Yeah, go barefoot, girl. We're, we're here. That's fine. You do, you do you. Three, two, one. Grab that weight in both hands. We're doing a shoulder press. If the weight is light and you can do a single arm shoulder press, I would rather you do that. So actually, we're going to start with that because we got something else to do later on. If you can, yeah. If not, you're going to do a push press. So sorry, grab that weight in one hand. We're doing a shoulder press. So you're just right here. Boom. If you need to, if you got to use the legs a little bit to get the weight up there, if it's a little bit too heavy for that, you're going to do a dip and press. Good. Three, two, one, go. Is that because you have her other sock on? Of course she does. This is my life. We go have some fun today. We go have some fun today. It's fine. Everything's fine. Laura is definitely not coming at this point. She has never been this late. Laura. 825. Yeah, she's not. She's never been this late. <clears throat> if she should show up, then I would be one part impressed and disturbed at the same time. We've got five. Four, three, oh, they've been here all week. Two, switch sides. In five, four, three, two, left side, go. Well, I think. Everybody's already done the dance. Well, the other day they were here cleaning out their car. Like, literally, they were just over there, like, with wipes, just cleaning the car down. They need to. Mm hmm. I don't mean to be mean, but dang it. it's better for their hips. Good. Abs stay tight. So if you are using that press, keep those abs in, keep the belly button in, pull those ribs together. We're going to make a little video on that too. So I'm going to make Katie use her ribs later on today. And I'll send you guys a video on what that should actually look like. <clears throat> I can do it, but it's easier for me to hold the camera so that everyone can see what I'm pointing to. Because then I can actually use my little fingers to go, hey, three, two, one. We're going down to a plank. In five, four, three, two, go. Just a regular plank. We're just hanging out here. Just Katie's a broken lady. She needs to learn how to breathe again. Oh, yeah. We can do a whole video on breathing, too. 90 seconds. 90 seconds to educate you guys. I didn't say we had to do it all today. Oh, that's a perfect reason to do it, then. You're going to have your hair done for the video. It'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. So just hanging out in that plank position. Keep your belly button in. Keep those hips lifted. Squeeze your glutes, try and keep things tight. A lot of times we're not engaging everything the way that we should, so we start to feel our low back firing up. Most of the time we're not engaging things the way we should. You know, I was being nice to everybody. I, I didn't want to say like, yeah. Five, four, three, two. All right, grab your ropes. We're going back on our feet. We're back to our jump rope, regular jump rope, up and down, nothing fancy about it. <clears throat> in five four three two go regular jump rope yeah nothing fancy just up and down mm -hmm. don't whack your toes if you're not wearing shoes i do believe some of our nice people at home are not wearing shoes either so they're okay if anyone whacks their toes at least you won't be alone when, with toe whacking open. yeah by appointment though <clears throat> which I do have to say, Pat got her appointment for Wednesday. She's like, I'm going in there long before you guys actually touch anybody else. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two. This is where the fun's going to start. Grab your weight. It's off to the side of your body. We're doing a suitcase deadlift first. So Ms. Vanna, boom. Hips go down, pull. Back stays nice and flat. In three, two, one, go. So you notice as she's pulling, back staying flat, we're hinging at the hips. The back is flat. So a lot of times people round out and they look kind of like a turtle. This is not a turtle. This is not a turtle. This is not a turtle exercise. <clears throat> this is not yoga where we do monkey, turtle. You can soft knee, yeah. Good. 
it's this. It, do you can do it either way. Like, oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Five, four, three, two. We're not switching hands. Keep that weight in the right hand. Right leg is going to do a reverse lunge back. So chest is up nice and tall. Weight's in the right hand. Right side reverse lunge. And up. Good. Three, two, one, go. I'm going to move that in a second. Just do one more. Yeah, there you go. All right, it's on your way. Abs stay tight. Keep your chest lifted as best you can. You want to hold the core as tight as possible because that body's going to want to tip to one side. Use your abs. We're not trying to balance by throwing everything over there. So you can see as the whole camera tips, the world is tipping behind me. Again, if you're prone to motion sickness, maybe today's not the day to watch this video. Keep the core tight. Keep the belly button in. Grip should be starting to burn a little bit on that right hand. Abs should be starting to feel like they're working. Shoulders should feel like they're working, but they're not using them yet. Three, two, one, reach back to that lunge position. Still holding the kettlebell in the right hand. We're doing a pulse and then we're done. So you've got the right hand holding the weight. Right leg is all the way back. And we're pulsing for 45 seconds. Three, two, one, pulse. Yeah, you got this. You're pulsing. You're feeling that burn. I think I texted you guys, did a whole video on lactic acid, realized that I geeked out halfway through. Still did it in two minutes, but I can't send it to you because it's too much. It's too much. The short version is lactic acid is the byproduct of anaerobic metabolism, which breaks down to that's the last thing that you burn before you run out of energy and your muscles give out. We need that to keep happening so that your body can actually burn fat better later on. I did not. I kept it on then over here. <laughs> this is Sharon dying. Five, four, three, two. Now we switch sides. Left side, deadlift. Suitcase deadlift. So the de uh, dumbbell is off. To kettle dumbbell, kettlebell weight is off to the side. In five, four, three, two, go. Good. <clears throat> so just for <clears throat> anyone who may have questions. The vest itself is weighted, but the good part about that is if you have a weight that's too heavy for you to press overhead, or if you don't have a heavier weight, it adds weight to the, your center of gravity. So it makes your whole body move a little bit more. The plus side about that is you get more weight without having to tax the grip more, or if you're doing a push press or a shoulder press, it's still loading the body more than it normally would. 15 seconds. Why did you fill it with grass? Oh, well then go fill it with grass. Get your grass out of here. <laughs> Somebody help me. Three, two, one. Hold that. <laughs> Hold that dumbbell, kettlebell, whatever it is on that left side. Reverse lunge in five, four, three, two, go. Yeah, unfortunately, not like that. Don't fall over as you go. Abs stay tight. Good. Reach. Make sure you're ready. Yeah, make sure you're ready for your movement. My bad side. <clears throat> yeah, everything's fine. No one's passing judgment. If they are, they're silently passing judgment because they're muted. Where's your water? Yeah. <clears throat> Kick that coffee over. You guys are really close. I can say, yeah, that's because he's my husband. Yeah, well, you're supposed to be close to me. <laughs> Five, four, three. Two, left side pulse lunge. Reach that left side back and pulse in three, two, one, pulse. Other Vena, pulse. There we go. Vena A and Vena B. Vena A was thirsty and could not pulse appropriately. This side's a lot harder for me. I'm back on me now. It's, it's fine. Everyone, everyone needs to see me. That's what's really important. Yeah. I want everyone to think I am. I want everyone to think that I am awesome. How did you get to that without taking a break? Well, the camera was never on me, so ha <laughs> ha. Joke's on you. Five, four, 
three, two. We're going into our upright rows of that kettlebell, dumbbell, or weight, whatever it is. So remember, you're going from the hips right to the shoulder. If you have to use some momentum, that's fine. But you want to think about trying to be as strict as possible. Keep those abs in tight. Vanna, in three, two. If you can go strict, go strict in the first one. Yeah. Ideally, that's it. Get as many strict as you can. And then once you need to, you add that little bump to get that weight up there. Good. Excellent. I realize the camera's pointing at you, but it's actually on me. Actually, I'll, I'll get you right now. This way we can see how awesome you are. Boom. Look at that. Look at Sharon being awesome. <laughs> Look at Sharon resting. Yeah. <laughs> there is resting happening everywhere. It's okay. You're not actually supposed to be able to go through this continuously without stopping. Five, four, three, two, still right side. Next movement is going to be a kettlebell clean. So you're going to take the uh, weight or dumbbell, kettlebell, whatever from your hips to your shoulder. Katie will demonstrate. So you're just going from the hang position right there to shoulder. Boom. And three, two, one. Go. No. Right up. Use those hips. So you want to be able to pull, explode. Even if the weight's light, I want you to explode because you're going to need it on the next movement. So there's three movements on this side before we switch. Explode. Drive through. Well, it's my job to make people explode. Drive through the floor as if you're going to jump to the sun or to the side, sky or the ceiling or whatever's above you. We got the sun out here. It's going to be hot when we jump to it. 15 seconds, what would you say? Fiery pit of doom. Fiery pit of doom. No, that's what we're jumping into later. <clears throat> Abs stay tight. Drive through the floor. You're still pressing those knees out. You're still lifting the arch of your foot. Three, two, one. Now you've got a kettlebell clean to a rotational press. So you're going to pull up and then twist and drive. And Vanna will show you. So you're going to go from that clean position to the hips. Rotate away from where the weight is. So the big thing is you notice as she twists, here's the weight, boom, hips go too. So make sure you're moving your hips, make sure you're moving your whole body. In three, two, one, go. Uh, you don't have to know. I would prefer it if you did, because if you scrape your wrists. Yeah. Broken wrist. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Hey, if you break your wrist, you gotta wait until we're done with class though. Yeah, it's true. I can't stop class. Those are Miss Laura's rules. No, but I can't. It's true. So the rota rotation of that hip, you're still pressing through that glute. So a big part of the movement is not limited to just the press. It's pull, twist. So your glute should still be firing up. Pay no attention to these two. They've just given up on. There you go. Three, two. One, switch sides, upright rows, left sides. So remember, you're pulling that weight from your hips to your chin. Right up, right down. In three, two, one, go. Yeah, they're not, uh, well, which, which side are you putting them on? Yeah. Yeah, I hated my wrist pads when I was younger. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's bound to happen. <clears throat> abs stay tight so remember if you're not thinking about where your abs are right now you should be your butt should be tight your abs should be tight it keeps you in a nice straight line so that as you pull we're recruiting the shoulder we're recruiting the lats we're getting everything to fire the right way and we're not hyper extending the back so a lot of times when we pull we do this versus just coming straight up three two one Kettlebell cleans, <clears throat> left side. Vanna, real quick. So we're going from the hips to the shoulder. Three, two, one, go. I am doing the other Vanna. We're, we're double Vanna-ing right now. We've got Vannas on top of Vannas. I'm sure I'm going to get fired for that later too. You were once a Vanna. You were an awesome Vanna. I got to get you a slider kettlebell so you can be another Vanna still. We can revana you. Revisit the vana, venation. Venation? Vanaizing? Where'd those two lacrosse balls go? Okay, good. 
It's the right answer. <clears throat> okay. Five seconds to go. <clears throat> so remember, your next one is your clean with rotation. Three, two, one. Kettlebell clean to rotation press. So up. Let's see it from this side. Boom. Yes. Three, two, one. Up and go. Boom. So you can see as the feet go, everything goes. The weight comes up, feet go. When the weight comes down, the arch stays lifted. So you see that lift? Boom. That lift gives you spring. That spring gives you power. The more power you have, the heavier the weight can be. Or, better yet, the more power that you have, the more explosive that your muscles move, the faster you can actually burn through the stored glucose in that muscle and force your body to burn fat more efficiently. There's like five levels to that that I kind of skipped through, but we're just going to go with that as the answer. That lactic acid building up causes you to have a bigger fat burn throughout the course of the rest of the day. Five, four, three, two, back to your rope. So those arms get a small break. We've got 30 seconds jump rope. We're doing our ski again. So you're going side to side, downhill skiing in three, two, one, go. Good. <clears throat> Move those hips as we go. Abs are in tight. Belly button's in tight. So don't whack your toe. If you heard the scream, then, well, you know, if you felt the scream, then, well, on the plus side, you guys at home, I can't hear screaming, so. If you heard me scream, I either broke something or I'm dead. You need to, like, clean your face, though. You got, like, chocolate over your face from your chocolate milk. Like, you're, you're, you're a gross animal. Where is that? Three, two, one. Grab your weight in both hands. We're doing a standard wood chop. So you're going to start right side to left side. Grab your weight. Well, Katie's using a weighted pole because the kettlebell is too heavy. Wood chop. So feet are together, glutes are in, abs are in tight. Chop over what, uh, from right side to left side. Boom. Three, two, one, go. Good. So this is one thing to think about. If the weight is too heavy, you can always modify because it's about the movement. It's about integrating movement patterns. It's getting that glute to fire, getting that hip to fire, getting your lat to fire. It's not about how heavy you can go. The biggest thing we need to do is work on getting everything to fire in synergy so that your body fires well when you do real world things. Because this movement, as strange as you would think it is, that's picking up your suitcase, throwing it over your shoulder, picking up a kid, picking up some groceries, loading stuff. We don't think about it that way, but it's literally picking things up, putting in the back of a truck, back of a car. Three, two, switch sides in five, four, three, two, go. Oh, puppy. Good. 15 seconds. Down. Sorry. And I had to like call and tell him I had to go to the emergency. Oh, it's a lot. So sad. <laughs> 15 seconds. Three, two, back to that right side. As you, uh, uh, we're going to add a lunge to it, excuse me. So as you, yep, you're going to step back left foot as the bar comes across or weight comes across the uh, right side. So come across right side, right side. Ye yes. You're, you know, that's it right there. You're doing that. So step back, switch, boom. There. Are we alternating? No, all one side. And three. Two, one, go. Yes, we are testing your coordination. We're testing your and working your rotation. Yep. There. Good. So the weight starts. Oh, can I come in? Oh. So left hip, right over the right shoulder. So depending on what kind of weight you're holding, it's all going to base, be based on your grip. You can use that pole. You can use the kettlebell. You can use a dumbbell. Doesn't matter. 
The biggest thing is make sure you don't lose your grip because especially if you're at home, I don't want you breaking your own stuff. Yes. I mean, in reality, you don't break anything, but definitely not your own stuff. So. Um, 10 yeah. seconds to go. No, I hate when that happens. Three, two, one, other side, go. Uh, yeah, switching to that other side. So now you're coming from that left hip across over the right shoulder. Sorry, I lied, right hip across the left shoulder. Don't mind me, heavily medicated. Yeah, just do the opposite. Yeah. I know, trust me, I know. Uh, Audrey, Valerie, did she go the other way? Katie said you went the opposite way. No, Audrey's in the right spot. Yeah, she's mirroring you, you're good. Katie Katie had doubt in you, Audrey. Who's mom's iPad? I don't know. It's, it could be my mom, it could be your mom. I don't want it to be my mom. Hmm, well, maybe it is your mom. Five, four, three, two, we're going down for push-ups. We're doing push-ups a different way than you usually do. We're doing our, we're doing our high. I just needed a demo. We're doing our hard style push-ups. So a hard style push-up is not much different than a regular push-up. I'm gonna have a key to get in a position. I'm gonna walk you through it. Abs are in nice and tight. Back stays nice and flat. Kick that rope out of, <laughs> out of position. You're gonna pull your ribs to your pelvic bone so all that gets nice and tight. You can see she's starting to vibrate a little bit there. Glutes are tight. Three, two, one. Push-ups. Go. That's not the push-up. Yeah, yeah. You need to actually demonstrate the push-up. Yeah, there. And you can just fall on your face, too. That's perfectly fine. Everything is fine. Whatever you can do. Katie, it might be your mom. If you need to keep your knees bent, that's okay, too. You can modify your movements based on what you can and can't do. There is no, it has to be this way. So a lot of times when we look at what people do when it comes to working out, they just assume it has to be this way or no way. It has to be whatever way you can complete the movement. Yeah. <clears throat> 15 seconds. Abs are tight. What'd you say? Maybe. I don't know what that is. Five, four, three, two. We're holding that plank position. Hard style plank. Abs are in tight. The exact same pull that you just had. Pull those uh, ribs to your pelvic bone. Tuck that pelvic bone under. Glutes are nice and tight and hold. 45 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Good. So for the most part, it looks like a regular plank, but you'll notice your body will start to shiver a little bit more. You'll notice you start vibrating a little bit. So as we look through here, everything is actually working. It's not one of those things where any part of this is relaxed. This doesn't hang down. This is pulling in. Glutes are squeezed. Keep everything tight. As you're going through it, you should be kind of questioning whether or not you're going to make it the whole 45 seconds. You may actually notice your vision is starting to blur out a little bit. That's okay, because you're about inches off the ground. Please don't actually pass out, though. That's, that's not okay. No, please don't let Katie pass out. She needs to... Oh, well, yeah, well, if you're going to ban it for her, that's fine. Oh. Three, two, one, on your backs. So you can take those vests off or those book bags off if you've got them. <clears throat> Keep your... That's good. Keep your weight close to you because you're going to need it in a second. We've got sit-ups first. In five, four, three, two, sit-ups, go. Your base sit-up, nothing fancy about it. It's possible. A lot of people bring their dogs here, leave them in their cars when they go walking. I don't really get it. So I'm going to use Sharon real quick. Keep those abs tight. Squeeze your glutes to the top and then slowly roll back. So as she comes down, there you go. So it's a slow controlled movement, both directions. So we're articulating through the spine and we're rolling up. So it's not a flop. A lot of times, again, people go for speed. We're not going for speed. We want our abs to work. And unless your abs are, well, unless you're really in tune with keeping your abs engaged throughout the entire workout, those abs are going to need to be worked slowly instead of fast. If you work it slow, you're going to be, uh, if you're working fast, you're going to be able to use those lats to fling yourself up. And that's not what you want. You want to use your abs. I mean, if you guys want pretty lats, that's perfectly okay. Three, two, one. On your back, we've got leg lifts. Abs are in tight, belly button's in tight, back's flat. In three, two, one, leg lifts, go. It was like they made us do it for so long, but then we were like, nah. So big thing here, belly button stays in, so that low back stays flat, so there's no lift. So if you're looking at Katie's back, there's no space, you can't see daylight. The range of motion does not matter. 
the fact that your hands are not under your hips and your hip flexors are not what's working, your abdominals are working, is what matters. It's the only thing that matters. That's why it's abdominal work. Again, it is not hip flexor work. So a lot of times people feel compelled to put their hands right underneath those. What did you say? Oh, probably. A lot of times people put their hands underneath their hips because they can't get their backs to stay flat. They start to feel that pain there. But your glutes aren't tight and your abs aren't tight. Three, two, one. We're going to a half bike. So you're going to reach your right leg all the way out away from your body. You're going to keep your left knee in. I'm sorry. Well, put your hands behind your head. Oh, no, I don't like these already. It's okay. And then you're just going to take that right armpit to your left knee. And this leg stays. 45 seconds. In oh three, God. two, one. Vanatu. Vanatu. Can you? Yeah, there we go. Vanatu's got us. Just right across, all to the left armpit, right knee. Just right there. So again, it's a slow movement. So when people do bikes, they're always like, ah, as fast as they can go. Nice and slow. You make the contraction, you move back. Just moving for speed is not moving for effectiveness. <clears throat> if you're not exactly sure how that integrates in the real world, every time you're running late, and you're looking for something, you're running around like a chicken with your head cut off. How effective is that? You can't find what you need. So that's the same thing when you work out. If you're moving super fast, you're probably not working the way you need to. Five, four, three, two, other side in five, four, three. Two, go. Boom. Keep those abs tight. Keep those backs flat. Just doing one way fatigue you for the other way. Uh, depend. Yes, I mean, sort of. Yes, you're using your abdominals. Yes. I, I know. I was gonna, I was gonna try and give you a better answer than that. Ava just jumps in. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, you're still using both sides. But the goal is to pull across. Yeah, well, that was, that was your fault. Five, four, three, two. Either way, she still would have been going up a hill. We're putting it together, We're doing a full bike. Remember, it's not for speed. In five, four, three, Vanna, two, go. So nice and smooth, nice and controlled. Low back's not lifting. You should not be inching your way down the mat. You should just be staying stationary. If you're doing a bike and you notice you're sliding on your mat, it means you're not doing them right. You should not be sliding around while moving. Your core is your anchor. And we don't want to use our, not use our anchor and just wiggle all over the place. We want to use those abs. What? You're still not going to be sliding around. I'm positive. Because when you slide around, so when you think about what happens when you, to allow you to slide around, you have to disengage the lower back. So it has to create a little bit of lift. If your shoulders are just rocking side to side, you're not creating lift. But once your low back disengages, your shoulders can actually slide up the mat. And then when you crunch, it's like a caterpillar. Three, two, one. Grab your weight. Grab your dumbo. Grab what's next to you. We've got a Russian twist next. Oh, I used to like these. Vanna S. So knees are in. Lean back to about a 45 degree angle and twist. Ideally, we're keeping those feet off the ground. Three, two, one. What I want you to do while you're here though is squeeze those knees together. So don't let those relax. Belly button stays in tight. How close, okay. As I'm pointing, I can't see how far I really am. <laughs> smile, make sure you smile while you're there. If, <laughs> I've gone away. If you need to, you can use your vest, you can use your book bag, you can use a bottle of water. The goal is just to create rotation. If you have to modify the movement, you modify the movement. Again, it's not about being perfect. It's about moving. It's about moving well. It's about moving pain-free. Everywhere I went, like, follow it up, relax. Yeah, like, Five, like, four, three, me too. two. <laughs> I know, like, I okay. Relax. You're back to, turn back over, back to our planks. That's fine. In five, four, three, two, go. Planking. Part of me hopes you guys can hear all the conversations happening on this side so you know why I'm laughing and why I get distracted over here. Oh, yeah. Well, people, yeah, well, now that we're allowed to have people here in person and we can have groups of over like 
whatever. Oh, that's fine. But then we're going to get called out. 15 seconds. It's like disobeying everything. Keep it tight. Abs are in tight. Belly button's in tight. Five. Four. Three. Two. Rotational planks next. Shake those arms out real quick. So we're up in that plank position. You're going to reach that. Vanna, Vanna, Vanna. You're going to reach that right arm all the way up. Bring it down. Left arm goes up. In five. Four. Three. Two. Go. I love when people are like, you do it so nice. And I'm this like, is my I life. Four. Yeah. <laughs> I would hope that those four. <laughs> those four should be perfect. If they're not, it's a problem. We've got 15 seconds. We're into our home stretch. We're going to finish this off with a bang because that's how we do things around here. Five, four, three, two. Back to your feet. Grab your jump rope. We're almost done. We got one last run through, one last sequence, and everyone gets to go about their Saturday. Regular jump rope, 30 seconds. Then we're doing our running jump rope, 30 seconds. So it's going to run right into each other. I'll cue when we're ready. Regular jump rope first. Three, two, one, go. Just a regular jump rope. That's all that's happening. Oh, I twisted it. I was like, ha-ha, fool you. I twist it now. Yeah. Well, that's good. The spider in your shoes threw off your alignment. We're not stopping. Five, four, three, two. Right into that run. Foot forward, foot back. Foot forward, foot back. Just keep moving. Boom. Right into it. Heart rate should be coming up. You're basically going to redline your heart rate for the next five minutes. I kind of want to apologize, but I kind of don't want to apologize. Three. Nope, sorry, I lied to you completely. Three, two. One, I was looking at, I have two stopwatches. Right knee run, so that right side just running in. In three, two, run, go. There, yes, just run, run, run. It's okay. Well, I am walking around. I'm walking around just for you. Doing it for you. Let me turn this music up louder. See? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna virtual high five just for everybody. Boom, virtual high five, virtual high five, boom. Ow, so aggressive. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, switch sides, right into it. Three, two, one, go. That's the point. It means you're doing it right. Everything should be burning. Your abs should be engaged. And I didn't have any alcohol. Abs are engaged. Everything's moving. Right leg should be burning. You got 15 more seconds to go. The good news is everything is 30 seconds. <clears throat> Five, four, three, two, body weight squats. Go right into it. Squat, 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 squat. Remember, drive those knees apart. Get those hips moving as best you can. Abs stay tight. Still focus on the form of it. I know you're fatigued. At this point, it's not about the repetitions. The muscles are going to burn if you do one. The muscles are going to burn if you do 20. But keep those arches lifted. Drive those knees apart. If we're doing it right, it's going to burn no matter what. <clears throat> like I said, I'll make a less sciencey version of that. Five, four, three, two, alternating reverse lunges in three, two, go. Alternating reverse lunge. There's my banner. Boom. Inanimate object. Boom, right there. He's to throw children off of me. <clears throat> Keep those abs tight. Remember, we're still staying tight to that core, still reaching through those hips. I know. I literally have to do this. I used to love how that felt. 
your hip flexors are really, really tight. Yep. Because our hip flexors used to not Three, be tight. Three, two, yeah. one, down for push-ups. So like, <clears> in five, five four, oh, yeah. three, two, push-ups, go. Abs stay tight, back stays oh, flat. Goodness. You move as best you can. Is that better? If you're going from your knees, you're going from your knees. Just keep your abs tight. Keep your belly buttons in. Keep your shoulders down away from your ears. We've got five, four, three, two. Shake those arms out. Mountain climbers are next. In five, four, three, two, go. I'm sorry. You get to do those too. You got mountain climbers, then you got plank jacks, then you got bikes, and you're done. Come on. That's okay. I need those abs fired up. I need this, this conditioning work to work. Your conditioning work doesn't work unless you work. Ah, my God. I can't do any more cheesy jokes today. <laughs> it's going to be a horrible day. My coffee's all over the place. I'll just tell you what kind of horrible day we're in for. Three, two, one. Vanna, show me some plank jacks real quick. So you're in that plank position. Yes. Three, two, one. 30 seconds. Plank jacks. Go. Hop those legs out. Keep those abs in tight. Belly buttons in. Shoulders are down and back. So you're not letting the shoulders come up. Your shoulders are not earrings. They're cute, but they're not that cute. So keep them down. Oh, maybe they're not cute. I don't know. For the most part, they're still not earrings. 15 seconds left. I, I don't even know how to respond to that. Five, four, three, two, on your backs. Bikes are last. This is it right here. In five, four, three, two, bike. 30 seconds. That heart rate should be up. Everything should be burning. The goal is to build up as much lactic acid on a day like today as possible. And you'll notice your heart rate is up. Your ability to sustain this output is very low. That's where those little brakes kind of reset everything. Your body has the ability to use that lactic acid as a fuel source when it absolutely needs to. What it also does is it triggers a growth hormone response that allows you to recover your muscles a lot faster. It allows you to repair your tissue a lot faster. Three, two, one, time. It's because you were not drunk? Yeah. I mean, not that I'm I mean, ideally, you shouldn't be drunk when you show it. Yeah. So. <clears throat> All right. Thank you, guys. Um, your link should be in there. The YouTube link that I sent out, make sure you have that. Take that in the email, text message, or however you got it from me. Pin it to the top of your inbox to make sure that you can always find the recordings because that'll make it the easiest. As we move into June, you'll just have one recording link. I'm going to streamline this a little bit more. So in June, there'll just be one link that you'll just click on every time we meet. So it'll just be boom, 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 one link, one event. You're gonna pin that one to the top of your inbox as well when you get it. Um, there's a little pin thing. I'll, I'll do, I can video grab it later. No, it's in your email. All emails should have like a little pin icon. It's either gonna be a pin icon or it's gonna be like a little um, three dots on an email and it'll have a drop down, and then you'll be able to go pin to top. Yep. The top is the top of your email inbox. Yeah, so when you think about what that pin to top is, whenever you open that email, it'll always be at the top. You'll always be able to find it. And then once it's there, you won't have to worry about anything. Just click, and then you're good to go. I will see you guys on Tuesday. I'll shoot a video about the breathing and the ribs later today, so that'll pop up on that YouTube link. And I will see you guys then.